All right, guys, hello and welcome back to Alan Wake. The last video we left off, we were headed to the train depot. Uh, I'm going to run over here real quick and grab this supplies here. Um, we also are running from an FBI agent who has a itchy trigger finger that keeps shooting at us. Um, okay, that's probably... Hello? He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Wait, what? Alice? I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. Okay, we got something right here. Let's see, there's a manuscript. So she... I don't know what's going on with uh, Alice. It's like she's there, she's there, but she's not there. Um, I don't quite understand. What's up with her? Wait, come on. I don't know what that was. Revolver ammo. Can't pick up any more. What is that? Shotgun ammo. Do I have the shotgun? I do have a shotgun. Okay, I think I'll keep that... Uh, Equipped for now. Got some flares and a flare gun. Nice. Okay, we are strapped, armed. Oh god, that actually. I was not expecting that right there. Ouch. Okay. Reload. Oh, I hit the wrong button to dodge. Okay, I gotta. Remember the controls. It's actually been a little while since I've played, so. All right, we've got to get to the train depot. I think it's off this way. I was trying to dodge, and I hit the. I think I hit the button to pull out the, the flare. Let me see. Okay, yeah, L1 is to dodge and sprint. I can see a railway bridge up ahead, and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. So, over there? Is that where we're going? But how do I get up there? I think we just climbed down from the area that... I think we should have been up here, right? No, there's a fence there. Okay, so we can't go that way. Man, the fact that they have an Alan Wake 2 that's been announced... It's just, it's mind-blowing to me because uh, when this game originally came out, I didn't pick it up at first. And then I started playing it, like, years after it had already been out. and I, But I never did finish it. So, it, even though there was bits and pieces there at the beginning, I remembered. And it, you know, it kind of refreshed my memory, like with the birds. I don't remember the part with the car and driving to where Barry was at to save him. Hello. But all of this right here, I do not remember. So all of this... ...that was pursuing me was growing stronger. And it was taking over everything in its path. Okay. So all of this is pretty fresh for me. Okay, whoa. Got a sprint. Whoa, what do we gotta do? Ow! Oh, okay. Something is hitting me and I don't like it. I can't, okay. Let me back up. Here, hang on. I'll just do that. Do I have another flare? No, I do not. Here, we'll just do that then.
Use my flashlight. I got plenty of batteries. It's crazy that we're fighting the environment, too. Okay, we gotta go this way. I feel... Oh, goodness. Get that out of here. Okay, reinsert. I feel like I gotta be careful because I'm just coming off of playing Man of Medine. And I feel like if I don't make the right choice, I'm gonna die, but... Um, this isn't really choice based, so I'm good. But coming on straight off of that game is kind of still got me right on the edge of my seat. Let's see, I think I got to go up that ladder. That's where I came from. I feel like I need to explore every little corner out here. Try to find a manuscript or maybe even a thermos, and we should be good. But, uh, let's see. Let me get into here. I don't As a teenager, just starting to get interested in writing, Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No Wait, one what is, is this? safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but heavy duty. The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. Heavy duty flashlight. So, what's does that one just have a bigger battery? Let me see. Still drains about the same, but this one's battery is bigger. So. Yeah, I think we'll keep we'll keep the heavy duty flashlight. I'm probably fixing to need it. Looks like maybe we're gonna have a boss fight up here or something. I got a thermos. Grab the thermos. Okay, what do we got here? Flare. There's an emergency box here for some battery, shotgun ammo, and revolver ammo, but I don't need the revolver ammo. Okay, here we go. No, I did not call 911. Ow, stop it. Here, hold that for me. Okay, got rid of uh, all of them, so that's a good thing. Got to be careful because darkness is still around me. Got a checkpoint, that's good. It's always... Oh, goodness. Okay. I did not... That battery is really low. Come on. There we go. Man, the bigger they are, it's harder to stun. Let's get that revolver out. Let's see. In light, you can hurt them. Wait, can I go through this door here? Nope. What's up here? More flares. Okay, so we got a safe room here, it looks like. Still don't need the... revolver ammo. There's the TV. Can I... Is this gonna play another episode of The Twilight Zone? Let's see. We take the facts of our existence for granted. Unaware that they are merely a thin veneer of desperate self-delusion. Covering the vast cosmos of madness and horror. All 
too often the stars are right. In night springs. Tonight's episode, a family occasion. Journalist Alvin Durlis' trip to study the local customs of an insular community in Night Springs has been less than successful. Until tonight. Well, I'm glad you changed your minds about this. Ancient customs, local mythology. My editor loves this kind of stuff. Well, Mr. Durlis, we don't want to feel like we're on exhibition. But you have demonstrated the seriousness of your intent. Oh, I am serious. Really, just do your thing. I'll stay out of your way and observe. Actually, I thought you could assist us. I'm afraid we are a man short. It would provide you with an intimate perspective. Uh-oh. Of course, Mr. Durland. Well, I guess that's the least I... What would I have to do? Oh, here. Let me show you with a kiss. I, uh, I... <laughs> Oh, what the? Well, well pleased, Nixie Perka, the dweller in flesh. Your body shall host his thousand years. Is he going to have a chest burster pop out now? Well, that was an interesting episode. Kind of reminded me of Alien. Okay, now we need to find our way out of this warehouse. Our objective at the moment is to find a vehicle. And, yeah, see, that's just one thing I don't remember about this game is driving of vehicles. I mean... Wait, what was that? Oh, it's just ammo that I, I can't pick up so let's see where do I need to go this might take me a minute because this up here is the safe room right so I don't think I can hop out of that window Oh, wait. Here's a door. Can I open that? Yep, there we go. Okay. Manuscript. I really need to look through those manuscripts, because I'm not really looked through... So, like, some of them were behind me. Can I make it over here to this emergency container? Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's get this out. I gotta get rid of this. Ow. Okay. No, I don't have a... Okay. Oh, goodness. A bulldozer. Oh, there it is. I cannot sprint. This is not good. Give me some flares. Did I pick up flares? I did. Come on, reload. There we go. Reload the gun. Oh, I gotta get out of there. Let me try the flare. Just stay right here and hold it. Oh, that's not... Nope, I can't stand right up on it. Okay, let me just use the flashlight. There we go.
That wasn't too bad. I say that, and I was actually peeking and freaking. <laughs> More flares, that's... That was like a bundle of flares, I think. Okay, I gotta go through here, it looks like. What is that right there, though? Batteries? Let me grab them batteries. What if I could have come over here and opened this gate while uh, that bulldozer was still in play, but I probably would have had to been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. The coal mine wasn't far now. Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. Welcome to Bright Falls. Okay, get to the coal mine. It's probably going to get dark before we even get there. But yeah, the... That, um, bulldozer. I wonder if, uh, that gate could have been open while it was still chasing me. But as, as long as it took to open, I'd have probably still had to fight the thing off while I was waiting for it to open. But I wasn't really paying attention to see if that button was even available for me to push. I hope I'm going... I think I'm going the right way. I hope I'm going the right way. I, I don't know why we parked the car way up there. Why didn't we just keep driving it down here? It looks like... Looks like people drive up and down here all the time, and we're just gonna go the rest of the way on the foot. On foot, I wonder if um, it ran out of gas. That's a, a possibility. Rough road. Maybe that's why we're not going any further with the with the car. Need to work on your cardio anyway. Alan. There's a jeep up ahead. I wonder if that's the kidnapper's... The kidnapper's jeep. Drive. Oh, I can drive this. Was that... Could I have gotten in the... Into that car and drove it down here. So I, I, I had the option to get into that car up there, or that that truck up there that we drove here, and I just ran all the way down here. Let's see, how am I supposed to get across that? Maybe I do need this jeep. Looks like I am going to need the jeep. Maybe I gotta go around. Okay, so we're gonna need the... the Jeep to get around... down in here because it's an off-road vehicle, I guess? I don't know. Sounds more like a moped, though. Whoa. Okay. I gotta get straightened out here. Another car. I guess I can just hop in that one if I wanted to. Let me let me check this building though. Checkpoint reached. Okay, there's a radio. Let's see what the I've got to say. Apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was 
detained. You see, I encountered a big shot G-Man with an itchy trigger figure who mm -hmm. a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass. Not necessarily in that order either. Now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but I'm just so peeved right now. Because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now, on a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, a little music. Nope, no music. No music. So I think he was actually talking to, to us there, or talking to Alan, I mean, um, hope, I don't know what he means by I hope, hope I didn't get you into trouble, but, um, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe because, oh, goodness, because he announced on the radio that Alan had just walked into the into the radio station and like two seconds later the FBI agent was there. That was a quick response. He must have been like right around the corner. Okay, let me go check out this this watchtower up here. Looks like we can take that car if we wanted to now. Oh, we got another radio in here. Welcome back to KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that too. Now, Doc, you were talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Well, see, to me, that's strange because I always pegged you as a hopeless romantic. <laughs> you got me there, Pat. But I think love's where you look for it. And you need to do a lot of looking, sure. But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you, and if you miss that chance, it's gone forever, and you're forever incomplete. I mean, isn't that depressing? Or, heck, childish even? Hey, there's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> and apparently a fisherman has a fishing analogy for everything, but what you're saying, isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that your potential for finding that connection isn't limited to what's essentially a chance encounter. How is that harsh? Yeah, well, I guess that's a nice thought, but let me say something personal here. Okay. Now, well, I okay. disagree with you exactly, but I can't really fit that together with what I feel, what I what I felt for someone. Kind of want to hear what all they're the going to say. And she, I let her drift away from me. Maybe I didn't put in the work, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna move on though. Uh, sounds like they're fixing a. Um, there's a word I was gonna say and I can't think of what it was. Ah, uh, but for the sake of time, we're gonna move forward. Um. At least to the next building, and then I'm gonna get get back out and go kind of look around in this building and see what's in here. Maybe another radio where I can listen to them to uh, the radio again, or maybe this is where I'm supposed to go. I don't know. No, I don't look like it. Okay, this don't. Just don't sound very safe in here. Okay, we're gonna hop back in the Jeep and press forward again. Looks like uh, this whole section of the game here is just gonna be a lot of driving. Oh goodness! Oh my gosh! Wow, <laughs> I almost, almost lost complete control there. Is that the entrance to the mine there? I was early, 
I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. Bright Falls Coal Mine Museum. What is that right there? Looks like a manuscript. Well, these pages that I'm picking up suffice. Or will they at least count? Wait, what does that say? Read. Right there. Okay. The mining steadily declined in the 20th century. The seams are rich but hard to get at. And the volcanic activity in the area made the mine shafts particularly dangerous. Okay. Museum entrance. Thirty-two miners lost their lives in the calamity, calamity, and all mining around Bright Falls came to a final stop. Now many of the remaining buildings are protected as historical landmarks. It's kind of interesting. I do like uh, visiting museums and finding out about the history. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. The noon sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. And now... Wake! Where the hell are you? Change of plans! You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello? Ah! I'm going to kill him. Okay. I had to get to Mirror Peak. Can I not go back out that door? Oh, what was... What the heck happened? It was close. Maybe closer than ever before. What happened? Can I go out the door now? No? Where am I supposed to go? There's like nowhere to go. Maybe down here? Okay, there we go. I don't understand how that door that we just walked through in the cutscene is now locked. That don't make no sense. Okay, I'm at my limit on the battery. Okay, it looks like we're fixing to go down in a mine. That, that's always great. Oh, oh, careful, careful. The fact that the darkness now uses the uh, environment has kind of got me... Oh, goodness. Ow. Here, hang on. I got a flare for you. Come on, reload. Ah, I didn't, I didn't dodge.
Okay, I got it. Back up, back up. Get up off me. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna go restock on my ammo. Oh, of course. Oh my goodness, that was so close. Oh! Okay, hang on. Is that it? Did we get them all? I hope we did. Because I, I now... I, I don't really... A flashbang? Another flashbang? Those, that should actually be good to use against the uh, environment. There we go. Like how they were just running on top of that car, that train car to... Can he not get... Can that thing not get out, I mean? I mean... Or is... Is it gonna be able to when I... When I get up here? Oh no, I gotta go down in there! You know what? No, hang on. That's what I wanna do. No. Okay. Here. Just drop that down in there. Well, I guess that's one way of doing it. Let me see. Anything in here? Wait, what is that? Oh my goodness. Looks like a tornado or something. The only way to reach the hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. We got another car. So, let's see. I don't think, uh... Probably, probably got to go down over here. Oh, whoa, what happened? Let me try to get turned around here. Oh my goodness, these controls. Okay. Just don't quite understand. As soon as I start backing up, the camera goes directly behind me. Wait. Okay, there we go. Nope, hang on. I didn't mean to do that. Get in the car. For some reason, I thought that'd be the air brake. Okay, they're vulnerable. There we go. Okay. Get rid of all the enemies in the area and then... I'm so glad that car was there. And man, you... Wait, was... Oh, flare gun. Nice. Probably gonna be more 
more enemies coming out. Because I just turned off the electricity. Yep, here they come. Oh! Okay. Okay, there's too many of them. Ow. Okay. Oh, he got me. Okay, let's try this again. I don't think I parked that car. I don't think I parked the car in the right place. Okay. Alright, I gotta get over this. Over this. I don't know what I'm trying to say. There we go. There's just too many of them out there right now. Shut the door. Can we shut the door? Shut the door. Shut it. Well, no, we'll just open it on the other side. Okay. Are we good in here? Thought I heard footsteps. Pretty sure I heard footsteps. And I... Still hearing footsteps. That are not my own. Okay. Cannot pick up any more revolver ammo. Come on, come all. Or come one, come all. <laughs> Trust no one in the dark. Do I still have, uh... Nope, that was all my... That was all the flare gun that I had. That's probably got to be the best weapon in the game so far. Now, where do I go? This looks like that building I was just... In. Oh, wait. Is that a ladder? I'm still hearing footsteps. I really don't know... Am I supposed to get right here and maybe jump? Yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to go up that way. Oh, wait, look, here's a ladder. How did I miss this? Just running around like... Wait, what is... Is that somebody over there? I look like somebody's standing there. Maybe it's just my life reflecting off the board. Okay, follow. What are we following? Oh, look, there's another truck. Probably gonna have to find a way. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I think we're fixing to have to turn the power back on. Oh no, we're opening the gate. That's not good. There was no way the flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. Get of all these dark patches here.
I don't think I'd really need to be aiming down sights every single time. But it does help you get a better fix on what you're aiming at. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Okay, back up. Okay. I don't know why I used up all my shotgun ammo, but... Oh, look! I want the flashbang, please. Thank you. God, these bigger guys always... Oh, he was, he was getting ready to charge me. There we go. Reach the mirror peak lookout. So the, the good thing about this heavy duty light is that it'll stay on them longer, if that makes sense. But it takes longer, it don't take, it takes twice as many batteries is what I'm trying to say to refill it. That's the bad thing about it. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I guess this way. Manuscript here. Hey, you, you, you chill out there. Looks like we got a safe haven over here. Looks like this is the direction I'm supposed to go. Able to refill on supplies, so yes, this is actually the direction we gotta go. And I think this is actually where I'm gonna stop this at for now. Uh, when we get back, we will proceed towards Mirror Peak. Hopefully, um, the kidnapper has some answers as to why he decided to change the plans. But uh, in the meantime, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you next time.